While almost everybody is familiar with Bram Stoker's Dracula, a story that has been the inspiration for almost all vampire-based fiction, not everybody is aware that Stoker himself had inspiration in the form of Vlad III, Prince of Wallachia, more commonly known as Vlad the Impaler. Given that Vlad actually existed, he is arguably more terrifying than Dracula. So how did he come to be known as the Impaler? Quite simply, it was due to his propensity to have his enemies impaled, a particularly brutal form of execution which involved inserting a long pole into the anus or vagina until it re-emerged somewhere near the top of the body. Victims would then be displayed on said pole until they died hours or sometimes days later. Vlad enjoyed watching this so much that he is reported to have once feasted while surrounded by dozens of defeated warriors slowly dying on wooden poles. During his lifetime, it's estimated that Vlad the Impaler was responsible for approximately 80,000 deaths. Of those 80,000 people, at least 20,000 were impaled. It's believed that the mere sight of this carnage was responsible for repelling an entire invading army. 